35, 25, long pass to Chambers and behind the back. Did you ever think in your wildest dreams? <laughs> I guess it was. KJ to Chambers, damn! 40 points in the first half for Tom Chambers. Chambers to win the game. He's got it. Welcome back to Tom Chambers' Greatest Games. In this episode, we go back to February 1991 with the Phoenix Suns playing the Charlotte Hornets. Just two nights after dropping 35 points on the Sonics, Chambers and the Suns would dominate the visiting Hornets. Playing in limited minutes, Chambers would score 30 points on 63% shooting from the field and the Suns would run and gun their way to a 20-point blowout win. So let's go back to February 25th, 1991. The Phoenix Suns versus the Charlotte Hornets. It's Mike Jemensky at center. For Rex Chapman at the guard spot, it is Del Curry for the second straight night. Gives you a different look at the big guard spot. You go from a stationary jump shooter to someone that can slash, put it on the floor. They're going to miss Rex Chapman. Hopefully Dell will shoot the ball well tonight. And Kendall Gill at the point guard spot. There's Gene Littles, head man for the Charlotte Hornets in his first full season here with Charlotte, enjoying a 16-win season so far. Lots of progress. Let's take a look at the Phoenix starting lineup. Phoenix will go this way. Very powerful lineup. Chambers and McDaniel. Also, Mark West in the middle, two good guards back there as well. Hornacek and Johnson, keep in mind this club gets 75% of their points off the break. And tonight for the game to stay close, Steve, watch Kevin jo uh, Johnson at the point guard position. How deep he gets into the lane is going to determine a lot of offensive production for Phoenix. If Charlotte can keep him up top, they can do a nice job tonight. So it's Jemensky and West stepping into the jump circle. The Hornets in the road. Teal will control the tip, and we are underway here in Phoenix. Del Curry will command the point. That's right. They, they, they did lose to the Kings this year, didn't they? Chambers. Chambers. Steve, there's one of the options we spoke about. When you got a big guy that can hit jumpers, put it on the floor, and run, it's a problem. I mean, among the photographers. Here's Chambers. Basket by Tom Chambers. Now Chambers does enough on the offensive end. He doesn't have to do anything on the defensive end, right? That's two jumpers from the outside for him. Four points for him. 8-7 Charlotte. West, one of the top shot blockers. In oh, nice save. From Chambers to West. Johnson. Chairman Mark West inside with the jam. And now the Suns retake the lead. This is what we spoke about. Hornets back in the lead, 12-11. Chambers on a nice reverse. Now keep in mind that Johnson has gotten deep into the paint and three possessions to get open in the paint. It'll create some problems for Phoenix. As you said, Chambers not a very good defensive player. There's Chambers off the glass. Tom Chambers. He seemed very lonely as he went down the baseline. <laughs> He's four for four. He cannot get the shooter's roll. Curry. Oh. Get that thing out of here, said Mark West. Cham Look out. To Chambers. Chambers. Ten points for Tom Chambers. Curry trying to lean in for the shot. Not a good shot. Lang spanked it away. Here's Marley. Marley puts the Suns back out in front, and this is a 7 nothing run for Phoenix. A little concerned that Charlotte is scoring on the perimeter, not going inside. Oh, Andrew Lang with a stick back. An angry one. 42-37, Phoenix by five. So it's eight points for Jay, 46-39. Randis comes back on the other way. This is the handle. Here's Curry on a breakout. Uncontested. Del Curry. What speed. Three-point lead. Here's Chambers, who's been quiet lately. Tom Chambers. 12 points for Chambers. Chambers is a sneaky guy. He'll get his points in bunches. He'll sit there at halftime with 12 and then break out with a 20. He's, he's one of those guys in this game that's capable of a 20-point quarter. Bogues looking, finds Curry. Oh, oh he burned McDaniel. Wow. Del Curry. <laughs> oh, eight points. Save, but you can't trade. You can't trade baskets. On a sec. Two-man game with Chambers. And he gets in on Jemensky and draws 
draws the foul after getting the basket. Yeah, that's strength. Chambers. Here's Chambers on the free throw line. After the foul to Jeminski to complete the three point play, gives him 17 for the night and gives the Suns a six point edge on the Hornets as we approach the two minute mark. Phoenix at 34 and 18, nestled in there behind the Lakers in Portland in the Pacific. Mark West is back on for Phoenix. Johnson penetrates, dishes out. Tom Chambers. Tom Chambers has 19. He has lit up the place here in the second quarter. The lead is 10, the biggest of the ball game for Phoenix. On a sec from the corner for three. Twelve points for Hornacek. A 13-point lead for Phoenix. The Hornets will not get their shot off in time. And an intermission. The Suns have a 13-point edge. Stay with us. Coming up at halftime, a feature on Kevin Johnson. Highlights, stats, and more. We'll be right back. And a hold on J.R. Reed inside. Now number 34, J.R. Reed. It's not a good break for the Hornets. No, but you brought up a good and point just before foul. that, Steve, about how they took away the two-man game. You would rather Hornacek put the ball on the floor because he doesn't change direction as quickly as a Johnson would. You pretty much know where Hornacek's going to go once he puts the ball on the floor. And he has to come rescue this play from an angle that doesn't put him in position to really score. Unless he turns around and squares to the basket chambers. I'll tell you what you and I should do in the offseason is travel all over the country and get basketball clinics now. <laughs> Yeah, right. As if I've got some credibility. All right, you carry the bags. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the, I'll carry the props and you give the clinic. And the Hornets trail by seven. Oh, Johnson. Kevin Johnson. I thought exactly. Is he tough off the dribble or what? McDaniel steals the dribble. There's the open court game. Chambers gets fouled by J.R. Reed as he was headed home for the basket. Look how quick. Look at Chambers. Chambers came from one baseline to the other. Now he's on the free throw line. Hey, when it's offense, he'll get there, right? Oh, he loves the smell of the ball. <laughs> Some guys just know where it is. You can blindfold them, and they know where it is. He's out of Utah. Down low. There's the double on the low post. Dell's got McDaniel to himself. Yes, yeah. man. The Suns finally get away with it. Chamber. Missed the dunk. Got hit in the eye as he went up by Del Curry, I believe. Chambers onto the free throw line. 25 points for Tom Chambers tonight. 90 to 76. That's the biggest lead in the ball game. Still plenty of time to go. 5:21 left to go. Right. The big question is, can Charlotte generate another comeback and shut down this Phoenix team? Phoenix is on a roll. Marley shoots over Trapuca. Well, oh, on the rebound, oh, he had Lechner all over his shirt. <laughs> then you can't let this second shot happen. Marley for three. Oh. See that just hurts. Chambers looking inside. Ten on the shot clock now as he cranks it up on the baseline. Here's Johnson. You know, Johnson finished that play with. Here's Marley back the other way. Oh, Chambers again running the floor. 28 points for Chambers. A 22-point lead for Phoenix. Muggsy will shoot again. It won't go. Would have counted. But that pretty much tells what happens the last six minutes of that third quarter. The Suns increase their lead to 22, 105, 83 as we head to the fourth. Now, Chambers, look at this. He does it again. Trailman on the break. That is great effort. Here's how it's gone quarter by quarter. The Hornets led after one, but fell down by 13 at halftime. Had it down to five there in the third, but Phoenix got 12 more points in that quarter, and right now it's where it sits. The lead is 20 for Phoenix, 105-85. Try to dispel a myth in this building that they can't beat the Hornets family here. Chambers. Chambers gets his 30th point. Chambers on the season, his season high is 39, his career high is 60. Three. Kirk Rambis in the Suns lineup for Tom Chambers. It's four. He's got four. Uh, he's got four. Oh, right here, right here. One 
107-92. Rambis, who just comes into the ball game, stuffs one home. He's got six. 109-92. Six on the shot clock. Marley for three. Three point field goal. Under Dan Marley from Kurt Rambis. 20 points for Dan Marley. And this will be their most comfortable win over the Hornets in their own building. Ed Neely scraps for the rebound. Oh, nice pass. Oh, Knight to Cavallos. Cavallos making the basket. Great catch, too. Recession and possessions. I'm taking them all down. Here's Carroll. Nice move. Here's Curry through a maze. One second to go. He holds up, and that's the end of the ball game. The Suns beat the Hornets. 128 to 108, and this is their widest win over the Hornets in this building since the Hornets have come in the league.